Welcome to unit 2. In this unit we will focus a little bit more on return values. In the last unit you have been introduced to functions in principle and now we are going a little bit more into the details. Functions often give back a result. This is called a return value. For that we have a keyword, actually it's called return. The values can have different data types, so you can give back a boolean value or an integer value or a string, or even you can give back complex data types. And if you would like to give several elements back, several values back, then you have to pack them into a complex data type. Let's dig into the details. It's showtime. Open the notebook so you can better follow what we are doing. As you have already seen in the first unit, a function is defined using the keyword def and then the content of the function is indented. Here you see a first function and actually it just has a printout. So it says print no I'm your father. And what we are doing here is we have an empty return value, a variable called empty return value, and we assign the value which is given back to this value and print it out at the very end. And you can see here we do not have any return statement. So what is given back if we do not do a return? Yeah, and you can see we have this printout. Uh, the program is working, yeah, so even if we do not explicitly give back a return value, a return value is created, namely the value none. None is a special kind of value, so it's not nothing, an empty string, it's not zero. It is actually the value none. It's an explicit declaration that nothing has been given back. Important. Even though we, have, we are not giving explicitly something back, yeah, we can assign the return value to a variable and the, the, the program still runs. It does not uh, stop the execution. Of course, we can do it differently. Yeah, here in the next cell you see we have again our famous quote. Now it is not printed within the function, it's simply given back using our return keyword. And what happens? We say now we have a variable greeting, the return value of famous quote is assigned to it and then it's printed out and no surprise, um, it says now I'm your father. So actually, if we left this one out, if we comment it away, we have the same output of the two programs. So, what is the difference really? In the first one, we have done this print within the function, but we have not given back a return value. In the second one, we have created a return value, given it back, assigned it to a variable, and within the main program, we have printed this return value out. So, sometimes one, sometimes the other thing has uh, advantages. Here, we only would like to focus that both things are possible. So I repair this one. Now let's go to a second one. So far we have given back strings, but of course it's possible to hand back other values. Here we have an integer and if you run it, if you run the program, um, then you see the life to everything is 42. Probably you know this famous quote from the Hitchhiker to the Universe. Let's have a look on the details. We have this return value 42 which is an integer yeah, and here we have a print statement which has two parameters. That's the first one and the second one is actually uh, the function, the answer to everything which gives back a return value which then is printed out with a print statement. We can use, of course, Boolean values as well. So we can return a, 
value true or false from uh, our program. And here we have a typical uh, function, is Python the best programming language? So already the name of the function indicates it should be either true or false or yes or no. And you see, you know, we take this here as an operator um, for, for the if. And uh, if it is true, then the printout is done. We run the program and you see our Python snake. Let's go to some more complex things. Here we have a return value, which is actually a list, a list of strings, the records of uh, the remotes. And uh, we can use this value, which is given back here to this function, and we can step over it because it's now it's a list, it's a sequence, we can use it in a for uh, loop. And if we run it, you see that you get four print statements. This is a combination of the for loop and the return value, which is a list. Very important, if you run through the return statement, the function is actually directly ended. Right? It goes back to the program, to the, to the um, part where it has been executed from. So if you run this one, you see you get your quote, now I know I'm your father back. However, this print statement in here, this is not executed, is not printed out. Why? Yeah? Once you come to this statement, the execution of the function is ended and uh, you turn back to the part where the uh, function has been called from. What have you learned in this unit? We have discussed return values. You see you can give one, uh, either non value back, no value back, one value back or several return values back from the functions. If you give back no value, actually a special value, non value is created. One value is uh, okay, it can have different data types. If you have several values you would like to give back, you have best pack it into a complex data type like a list or a tuple. That's it.